Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Episode. Um, I went to Amelia Earhart Park. This is one of those, you know, just getting back out into nature things because the last time I did um bike riding was 2019, right before the epidemic, the pandemic, the um, right before the corona, the panorama, whatever y'all want to call it. But that was the last time I did a bike ride and I needed to um, do some trails and, of course, get back into the groove of um, bike riding. And so um, before I hit the road, because it's been so long, I already know the routine. I have to fix, pull, screw, tighten, <laughs> fix and just get my bike um, ready for um, the trails again. I have a foldable bike, so with a foldable bike, it's a little more tricky. <laughs> it's a little more tricky. And so it's a, like extra tightening, extra adjusting and taking it or pulling, you know, opening it up and, you know, getting it ready for the offer. We're going to do one mile of um, flat paved roads or at a pavement just to get my body warmed up. And then after that, then we're going to go into off road. I like to always stop here and just, you know, take in the little scenery. There is gators in there. There are all kinds of animals at these parks. So I did one mile on the flat road so far, so I just wanted to warm up a bit. Let's get back to it. I gotta be careful, I don't fall. I hope I don't fall. Where I'm pointing to currently, it's the beginning of the trails. So we're gonna begin. So you guys ready? Y'all excited? This is gonna go super fast. If you got your 3D glasses, put your 3D glasses on. And we are gonna go down this trail in five, four, three, two. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave To the system I don't wanna be a slave Go, 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 go I actually crashed the bike. <laughs> I crashed. I crashed in the middle of a trail. It was um, an intermediate trail, and of course, it was my first time doing it. So I crashed the bike, and it wasn't my bike. It was Olia State River Park's bike, because <laughs> I didn't have a bike then. So I would always rent their bike. Thankfully, the bike was fine, but I was <laughs> I was scraped up pretty much because it was on a um, an incline and I ended up just banging up my shoulders and my arms and it was bugs on me. It was one bug. I don't know what type of bug it was, but it was on me because I fell into the bushes. So long story short, that was a lesson learned. If I'm about to fall, ditch the bike. <laughs> don't hold on to 
because I kept holding on to the bike and of course the bike went with me. So like now when I fall, I'm ditching the bike <laughs> and I'm going on about my business. I'm super sweaty right now. I'm gonna do another round. About now, I probably did probably three miles so far just for, for the trails. And I did one mile on the regular um, paved road and then I did probably two or three miles off road. The more difficult ones are all the way on the other side. So of course, all of this is the park. You go all the way around. All of that is the park and it's a big park. And so I already did the whole round. I went around in the flat roads and now I'm doing in here. So still go, 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 You got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. That's why to say. Fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst stuff, say, and turn them to a game. Take the best stuff, say, and put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Oh. And even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no, man, I still go. go. It's not for the week. It's not for the week. Guys, it's not for the week. It's like going through a maze on a bike and I like to figure out and find out what the trail is and how the trail looks and, you know, and to see the different turns and the different um, things that you can do on a trail. tend to like to stay off-road <laughs> since we're talking about on-road and off-road or mountain biking um, I like to tend to stay off-road a little long and one thing I'm learning is that even when I have left the off-road physically my mind still stays there and so it's not good to stay off-road for too long and it's not good to stay on road for too long so it's about balancing the both and you know finding that you know that's that that soft spot in between and um, I'm learning that I'm learning to find a soft spot in between and to um, balance you know not being always being in this place of solitude because I love to be by myself and I love to be by myself a little too much so it's always good to you know um, come back to civilization leave the leave the unpaved roads and come back to the paved roads i like the metaphors here and um to come back to the paved road and to come back to civilization and to connect with family with friends with the world and to not lose that i appreciate you guys coming on this bright ride with me um it was a lot of fun but you know, I gotta go now. You know, I can't, I can't be recording and enjoying my ride. I just can't, it's, that's not how things work. You feel me? So guys, I appreciate you guys coming on this bike ride with me. And this was fun, this really was. And listen, no goodbyes for now. See you later.